Yeah, and it Olga, we may not have. Does. Yeah, we may not have snow, but we do have some rain in the forecast. Yes, we do have some rain in the forecast on the way. But yeah, speaking of snow, you know, we've had actually kind of uh, some early snow. Places like Tahoe just about a week ago also received some snow. So we are looking good. We've actually had some good rain in October. So starting off that new water year on a positive note. Temperatures outside, it is mild out there, 61 degrees in Camarillo. Some cloud cover, a deep marine layer tonight into early tomorrow. Winds outside are calm and uh, temperatures across our area. Uh, we're seeing mostly 60s and uh, 50s outside. Here's a look at the wind. So we've seen a shift in the winds. We're seeing more of those uh, onshore winds, those westerly winds pushing in. A uh, little breezy out through some of those higher elevations, places like the I-5 corridor, seeing some winds at the moment out through the Antelope Valley as well. As we head into later tonight and early tomorrow, we'll see those winds actually start to intensify as well. We'll be seeing gusts nearing 40 miles per hour in some of those high deserts, nearing 30 miles per hour in some of our mountains. Winds will continue strong through the afternoon, evening hours and really not diminishing uh, to some calm conditions by late Monday into early Tuesday. So here's a look at that rain. Yes, impacting Northern California and much of the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's making its way south and uh, right now hitting parts of the central coast. So places like Monterey getting some rain at the moment. Uh, for us, though, we are still looking at some dry conditions and that rain not really expected in Southern California until we get into later tonight, the overnight hours and even early tomorrow as well. So as you are making your way into work tomorrow, here we are at just after 7 a.m. We're seeing some scattered rain, uh, so some areas could see a little bit of drizzle, some areas no rain at all. Uh, again, this is going to be pretty light in nature and moving out of our area fairly quickly. As far as temperatures for tomorrow, yeah, we're going to be very cool. We're going to see a drop in the numbers. Most places staying in the 60s. We even have some uh, 40s in places like Big Bear. Here's a look at the extended outlook. So by middle end of the week, at least for the work week, we'll start warming things up once again as high pressure starts to rebuild with numbers back into the 80s uh, for the valleys by Thursday, Friday before we cool things down once again as we head into the weekend with the potential we are tracking yet another chance of some rain uh, for tomorrow. For right now, though, we are tracking that rain uh, for tomorrow. Again, uh, best chance will be late tonight, overnight hours and early Monday with some very cool temperatures as we head into your Monday. I'll send it back to you. Olga, thank you so much.